Hi folks, I just saw uh, Fortnite added uh, AI Darth Vader into the game and streamers and players are going crazy for it. And I just wanted to give it a try myself, make it in Unity with Neocortex and show you how you can also create similar characters. I'm not going to go into character controllers and things like that, but very basically show you how you can get a 3D model, uh, rig it, bring it in and, you know, make it talk with you right away with one of the samples in Neocortex SDK. Let's take a look at it. All right, so I have my empty Unity project right here that I call Darth Vader. I'm going to right away go to GitHub to Neocortex Unity SDK, copy the uh, Git URL and bring it back to Unity and edit in the package manager. So let's bring it. I had a full video of how you can do this with all the details. So I'm going to skip some of the small parts not to waste too much time. And we get the SDK. One thing I will need also is I'm going to uh, download the model in GLB format. So I'll need GLTF fast from Unity. I'm just going to get the name of the package right here and add this as well. Unfortunately, Unity does not have it, it in their um, package manager list just yet. So we will have to manually edit as well. So it's not in the registry right away. And right after uh, Neocortex Unity SDK uh, imported, I'm going to import the samples because I'm going to edit one of the samples rather than creating a new scene right away. Let's do that too. And add package by name, install package by name, Unity uh, Cloud, GLTF fast, install it. And while it's installing, I'm going to go to Sketchfab. I found the start Vader model uh, by Konstantin Koretsky. So this looks really nice. I'm going to remove the cape and the, you know, this, uh, piece of cloth around the pants because I don't want uh, them to kind of get in the way of animation. We are going to animate this with Mixama quickly. Um, this uh, free model, uh, he at least lets you download it. So we will do that. I'm going to uh, get the GLB version, smallest 1K textures. Detail is not that important at this moment. Let's download it. It is downloading it and I'll go to Mixamo, upload character. Uh, so when you want to do this, you can only do FBX, OBJ or zip file. So I don't have a chance to actually upload GLB file. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Blender and um, I'm going to convert it into FBX, use it in there. Later on, we will get the materials from it uh, uh, as well. So you do not need to do this part. I'm going to upload the full model into here as well. So, you know, you would directly have a chance to use it. I'm going to download Darth Vader. Let's get the model in here. This is my model. I'm going to just hide the these pieces. So this is going to my going to be my Darth Vader model. Let's take a look at the materials as well. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to select everything. Uh, control A, I'm going to apply all transforms. Select select everything again and export it as FBX. So again into downloads Darth Vader, Darth Vader, yep. And anything else selected, uh, objects, selected objects, apply transform that wasn't selected or local custom properties not needed. Export to FPX again, upload character. This was our model, correct it. And back in Unity. We have things going. So I'm going to create some folders for, uh, let's say, models. I'm going to put the uh, FBX and the GLB model, uh, model there. So we can already bring the GLB. So let's go back to Unity. Let me bring the um, GLB model for Darth Vader. I'm going to remove that one extension from that. Darth Vader. Nice. Working. All right. Yeah. It has all the materials co correctly. This is cool because we are going to use the materials from this one. FBX won't have it. I didn't deal with the uh, settings uh, just for this one yet. All right, Darth Vader is right there. And he indeed is angry. That is cool. Right there. I'm going to download this. And with skin, Unity, FBX, download. And then I'm going to move this into Unity project as well. All right, let's go back to Unity. And... Where is it? Downloads folder, Darth Vader angry. Okay. So let me just get the Darth Vader angry under the test character. Go to scene. He's so, so small. Um, settings, model, I'm gonna do it 
100 times and find him right now yeah now he he, he looks all right and like I mentioned, the materials are not there yet, so I'm gonna get them from the GLB. Let's figure them out. Um, I'm gonna make this part big, so. Uh, this looks like the face, the helmet, I assume. Face reveal, come on. All right, correct. This looks like the cape, cape. Uh, we skip it. This is the body. Let's move it, and yeah, this is the clothes. All right, and that's it. Cool, we have our Darth Vader with the animation and everything. So materials came from the GLB file and the FBX with the animation comes from Mixamo directly that we exported. I'm gonna take the main camera and put, put it so that, um, you know, um, it's in the screen like this. So control uh, shift F and yeah, it looks should look like this. And I'm gonna rotate him a little like this okay so he should just play the angry animation and neocortex will be active right away so let's do what let's go to neocortex and create a project for Darth Vader now so I'm gonna go to neocortex and I have few projects uh, I'm gonna remove one of them and create Darth Vader let's go all right so I have a blank project right now. So let's name our character. The agent is Darth Vader. So um, some background, Dark Lord of Star Wars universe. And um, yeah, I'll just say you know everything about the Star Wars, Star Wars universe. So it's kind of repetitive. It's been, I could have written a better description, but yeah, uh, let's ignore that. So he's at uh, Death Star at the moment. And all right, let's get him a personality, personality node, connecting it to personality. He's an extrovert, very, or he's a perfectionist, very strong. And um, let's give him a voice. I'm gonna connect the voice node to the voice node. Hello, welcome I, to Neo Cortex. Yeah, Let's create something cool together. Verse was the best to pick. And I'm gonna add some uh, pitch change so it actually sounds like Darth Vader in Unity. And um, let's add an action. Uh, I'm gonna add an object. Uh, let's call it the force. The force. And it's going to have an action here. And it's gonna be called uh, use force. And um, the intent should be like um, when we want to join the dark side or want to be a student of the dark force, something like that. So uh, something else happens. We might add an animation or something like that. So this is just an action to test. Um, I want to join the dark side. Or you say, I want to learn the force something like that you can modify it the way you want very basic setup uh, let's save it I'm gonna copy the ID I'm gonna go back to unity test character I'm gonna paste the project ID that we just copied save it and I need to create a um, uh, API key too so I already had this one Darth Vader I'm gonna copy it and bring it back if you didn't have uh, one please please create the API key and you can go to tools neocortex API key paste it right here save it and now everything should work audio source I have here um, I'm gonna set the pitch to 0 0.65 to make Darth Vader speak like more deep voice something like a slower and deeper and let's test it out I should have had the animation controller as well I guess but let's see it hey hey Darth Vader how are you doing I am always focused on maintaining the order and power of the Empire. How can I assist you with the f- Alright, so sound looks alright. Darth Vader, angry, let's create a animation controller. Boom. Save it. Open it up. 
Dark Vader angry, bring it here. Also, we need to make the animation loop. So it keeps being angry, apply this and bring this to Darth Vader, just like that. Cool, and the animation plays. So what I want to do right now is um, I want to get the chat response. If there's an action, I want to play another animation. So I'm going to go back to Mixamo. Arm stretching, I do not know. Arm stretching, come on, Darth Vader, all right. Let's download this. Let's hope the best. Download it. Let's take a look. Hopefully it will work. It won't, no preview. Why? I do not know. Um, let's make it 100x as well. Maybe this was the reason. And let's go to animations. All right. Um, yep, arm stretching. Make some of us right here. Um, we can actually Cut the beginning of it a little. Um, okay, st no, no, this is this is better. All right, cool. Okay, we have it. Now going back to it, what we want to do is let's make it larger. And I'm gonna write a script to. Let me create a scripts folder. Call this a uh, new animation, the action trigger for it. Let's say um, more behavior call action. It's gonna be something really basic. It's gonna take the animator. It's gonna take the uh, smart NPC. Uh, wait for the response to come. When this response comes, we uh, trigger the trigger animation trigger and play the new animation. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So test character has the new Cortex Smart Agent. So we will have two references as far as I can think of. Okay, Rider is still loading. It's gonna be a little slow. I'm gonna cut and speed off all these parts so you don't need to waste your time watching it. Jesus. Christ. Finally, let's add the references. Animator con con controller, not animation controller. Animator uh, controller. All right. Cool. So um, in start, I'll say agent and on 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 chat response received i'm gonna add listener and our methods name should be on response received i'm gonna remove update and let's create this automatically all right response so response is received we will check if it has an action. So if response dot action equals what was the action we set was all right. And it was called use force. I'm going to just copy that. Come back to writer. Paste it here. So when this happens, anim controller is going to trigger set trigger i need the animator not anime controller animator and animator and set trigger trigger yes and it's gonna it was what we call it controller it was called force just force with capital A, F, force. Okay. Bada beam, bada boom. So this should be just it. And I'm going to add this component on the test character and set the values, the exposed 
objects and then we will see let's go and scripts call action agent right here animator right here and well let's see if it works hi lord vader i want to um join dark dark side and become a student of yours oh i muted it guide is a journey of power and mastery use the force and you may begin your training as you can see it already played the uh animation right now it's back to the angry uh, animation but it stretched his arms <laughs> still listening the force will guide you embrace it and feel its power thank you lord vader i'm looking forward to joining you Your eagerness is commendable. The force is strong with you. Let us begin. Um by the way, can you tell me about Death Star, the, the this place we are in? The Death Star is a massive space station and super weapon. Capable of destroying entire planets. It serves as a sim I do not know what is going with the screen, like it, it's weirdly flickering, some Unity mess up again. But yeah, every time we this uh, every time we mentioned the force, um it triggered it three times, so the animation played. So that we you know wanna join him or join the dark side, it takes it as a call to action and sends us this. All right, and so this is, I guess, pretty much it. You can, you know, add a character controller to it, uh, different ways of controlling, or either with, uh, you know, uh, push to talk or some other ways. And that's really cool. Like, um, so this was really interesting. Um, more and more games are accepting this paradigm, you know, at the uh, smart NPCs being in the games and. I want to do my best with your help to, you know, bring it as much as possible. Uh, make sure to subscribe and make sure to uh, create an account in Neocortex. Give it a try. Uh, you know, you can subscribe there too. You can purchase credits to use it more. Uh, everything you do helps a lot. Uh, bring this product to, you know, more people and help more. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me either from the comment section of the YouTube or through Neocortex Discord or my socials. Feel free to ask me any question you have and I will put this small project into uh, GitHub and share everything with you so you do not need to go through this Mixamo and Blender stuff and just have what is going on here. Yeah, thank you so much and see you soon.